Hi, my name is Daryl Brockman with Optima Batteries. I'm here with our lithium BP120 battery. Uh, this is a 120 amp hour lithium battery for marine and RV applications, and these batteries have NEMA connectivity. Uh, and today I wanted to talk about how to do the NEMA rigging for a 12 volt system with one of these. First, we have a NEMA cable that connects to the battery. The battery has three different plugs. The NEMA cable that goes to the backbone is connected to the plug labeled NEMA on the battery. That's connected to the backbone. Next, we have the NEMA cable that goes to your NEMA capable graph. Finally, coming off the backbone, we have NEMA power that connects to your 12 volt power source, in this case, your battery. And then the last connection is 12 volt power coming off of your graph, which also goes to your battery. On each end of the backbone, we have termination resistors as well. And that's really everything you need to do as far as the rigging for a 12 volt system with your lithium batteries. So right now we're going to go through the NEMA graph setup. Uh, today we have a Lowrance Elite Series graph. Um, different manufacturers or different models might have a slightly different configuration, but the concepts should be reasonably similar. So first you would go to setup, go to network, um, and auto configure. This will basically activate the NEMA network on the battery and tell, you, tell the network that there is a battery connected. If you go into data sources, you'll see that the battery is connected. You actually might not have to do the auto config. Um, you might find that the battery is already shown. So you can see we have a new battery here. I'll just enter the name Q31M DP120. So now you can see that the battery is connected. And if you go into these different sections. For example, you can see that the voltage is displayed here. How many amps are being drawn is displayed. Uh, you know, battery type, etc. After making sure that the battery is activated and visible on the network, what you can do is you can choose how you want to display your data. Uh, so in this case, we have these different settings. You can change the info type. Scroll down to battery. If we wanted to show the battery voltage. And similarly, we can display the other battery data. Just scroll down to the battery. As you can see, we can display battery current, temperature, voltage, state of charge, state of health, and time remaining. Time remaining is really useful. So what battery time remaining will do is if you are drawing power, for example, if you're using this battery for your trolling motors, based on the state of charge of the battery and how much current is being drawn, it will tell you how much runtime you have left. Um, but that's basically the graph configuration process for uh, one of the Optima Group 31 lithium batteries with NEMA connectivity. The Optima Group 31 lithium batteries also have a Bluetooth app, which can be downloaded from both the iOS and Android app stores. If you just search for Optima lithium Bluetooth, uh, open up the app and you can see we currently have three batteries nearby here. Choose one of the batteries to connect. And right now it's showing this is state of charge, battery voltage, capacity, and status. Let's scroll to the right. You can also see battery temperature and how many cycles uh, the battery has on it. If there were any recorded events, if there was some kind of a, a fault, uh, overcurrent fault, or if you dropped a wrench across the terminals and there was a short circuit fault, those events would be logged here as well. In addition, the app can be used to set some notifications. 
So you can set, if you wanted to, you could set a low state of charge notification with sound or vibration if you wish to let you know if your batteries are getting to be low state of charge. Also, uh, have direct access to the user manual, so if you have any questions about installation, all that information is readily available in the app as well. This app is used for both of the Group 31 batteries, the Deep Cycle 150 amp hour and the dual purpose 120 amp hour.